Hey guys, so as we are entering our ballistics, uh, hey guys, so as we're getting into the ballistics chapter of forensic science, we've already discussed firearm safety. Now we're going to go and talk about function as opposed to appearance. One of the most common issues we see are people talking about scary guns with no clue how these guns actually function and terrify them. So we're going to use a couple of examples to talk about. Just like always when we come to firearm safety, I've already checked these weapons. They're all safe, clear, and I'll still be handling them as such, but I, I'm aware of the fact that all these weapons are safe. I checked prior to recording this video. So right now, this is the gun that most people talk about, what our hot topic. This is our standard AR-15. Looks pretty scary. Mine's a little tricked out. I have this one set up for a, a custom shooting. Uh, shooting groups at 100 yards. So I have a, an optic on here. It's a, a three to, or I'm sorry, a four to 12 power scope. So 12 times the magnification. I have a custom 18 inch stainless steel barrel and then some cool red accessories to make it. We look at this. This is a semi automatic weapon, the AR 15. It's designed off the M16 platform, which is full auto, but this gun is incapable of doing that. This particular one actually has a drop in trigger. Uh, the internal compartment or the internal components are completely different than that of an M16. This kit gun is capable of firing one round per pull of the trigger. So yes, you can add a large capacity magazine in here, but this gun looks scary to some people. In fact, it's no different than this. This is a Mini 14. Very common, a lot of predators are predator hunting, ranchers, they like to carry this. This has the exact same capabilities. We can put a 30 round magazine in this as well. I also have optics on here. Uh, I'm not sure this is a, a fixed four power scope. Same caliber, 5.56 five, or 223, depending on what yours is chambered in. The same caliber weapon as the AR-15 and the M16. Exactly same function, every time you fire this, one pull of the trigger. If you hold down the trigger on either of these, you know, it's not gonna do something from the movies where bop, 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 bop. It doesn't work that way. It's a semi-automatic, just like a handgun that we carry in the police department. Every time you pull the trigger, the gun's capable of firing, but holding down the trigger will only fire once. But if you look at them, they look similar, but this one's scary because it's black. This one's not scary because it's got a wooden stock. Same exact gun though, but this and most, well, every state is completely legal. Uh, this one has a pinned flash suppressor and minus this magazine, this is New York City compliant. This one, however, is not. It's flash suppressor is removable. It's got a telescoping stock, like that makes any difference whatsoever. But functionality, they're exactly the same. Coming to this, most of you, if your grandfather's old hunting gun, 12 gauge shotgun. This is actually a semi-automatic, the same as all of these. Every time you pull the trigger, this will fire. So if you take the plug out, I think this can hold five rounds. I have it set for bird hunting, it only has three. But every time you pull the trigger, this gun will go bang. Now this one, whoa, I thought I lost my gun there. This is a pump action 12 gauge Mossberg. Every time you pump it, you'll fire one round, then you actually have to pump it again because before you can fire another round. Once again, these two are exactly the same in how they function. Uh, this one's a pump, so a little bit different, but a lot of places would consider this one scary. I have the side saddle shell holder, it's black, it has a heat shield, where this one just looks like we're going bird hunting. They're both capable of doing the exact same thing. If anything, this one's a little more scary because you can fire it a lot faster because every time you pull the trigger, it will shoot. So just remember, it's not about how a gun looks, it's about how it functions. Just like in the police department, we could use our Glock 19, nine millimeter, very common in the police department. Most departments use this or a variation similar to this. Most people don't realize this holds 16 rounds, a significant amount of ammunition. Obviously you don't want to run short on ammo. 
how does it function? Does it change by this at all? No. But now you have a 32 round magazine in this handgun, making it capable of firing a lot more times downrange. It doesn't make it shoot faster or anything else. If anything, it makes it a little bulkier and heavier and harder to carry. But just because it changes the appearance doesn't change the functionality of the weapon. Remember that appearance doesn't change function.